They await the start of round one. Waldhelm is only at 187, Foreman at 219. Waldhelm quickly taking the lead in the bout, but Foreman pursuing. How much Foreman has progressed since his Olympic days remains to be seen. He was raw, unpolished, but thunderously powerful. The left jab particularly, but a fine right too. Waldhelm's left getting into Foreman's face. What Waldhelm must do, of course, against the biggest, stronger man is keep moving. Waldhelm in the red trunks, Foreman in the blue. Tremendous interest, really, in this young Olympic heavyweight champion, not for his, just for his deeds in the ring at Mexico City, but also for the action immediately after that you needly be remind, need hardly be reminded of. The carriage of the diminutive flag about the ring. Crowd made some noise as Wald, as Wald Helm got a left in there. Happy Galt next to me is motioning to Foreman, stick him, stick him, meaning keep that left out there, and George began to do it. We're a minute and 40 seconds into round one. Foreman with a right to the stomach to bring Wald Helm's guard down if he can. Now Foreman's beginning to use that left, and there's a good left jab to Waldhelm's face, and another, and another. There's the right, a right lead that caught Waldhelm on the left side of the jaw. We have a minute left in round one. I don't know if you heard Pappy go in the background there. Stick and jab, George, he said. Thirty seconds left in round one. George Foreman in the blue trunks against Don Wald Helm in the red. The heavyweight Olympic champion's pro boxing debut here in Madison Square Garden. The bell for round two. Madison Square Garden, New York City. Professional boxing debut of George Foreman, Olympic heavyweight champion in the blue trunks at 219 against Don Waldhelm of Freeport, Long Island in the red trunks at 187. Sitting next to me, Pappy Gall, Olympic boxing coach, the man who made George Foreman an international figure. And I must say in round one, Pappy, perfectly honestly, George looked nothing like he did when he defeated the Russian Chapulis in Mexico City. He's a little nervous. Uh, he's a little nervous now, but he will come on. He's got a jab, boy. His jab got to work. His jab, and he comes with the jab, with a straight right, he's all right. waging the aggressive kind of battle he did in Mexico City. And I have to wonder, Pappy, if he's got some strategy for this fight that you might uniquely be aware of, even though you're not handling it. No, I don't think so. I think George is just tight right now. He's getting, he's getting a little better now. His jab's working all right. Once again, Pappy Gold, Foreman's Olympic boxing coach. Foreman in the blue trunks, Walt Helm in the red. There was a good left hook by Foreman, who just looked over at Pappy Galton, this reporter, when he connected with him. Funny, he's being managed now by Dick Sadler, who manages Sonny Liston, yet he looked over to Pappy Galton. A left by Waldhelm, connected. 
and a right lead by Foreman that did no damage. Foreman, Blue Trunks, Walt Helm, Red. So far, Foreman has done no damage to Walt Helm. A good left jab then, and another by Foreman. 20 seconds left in round two. Ball down with a left lead. Another, another. Sticking and tapping. Round three, Madison Square Garden. Former Olympic heavyweight boxing champion in the Blue Trunks, George Foreman against Don Waldhelm of Freeport, Long Island. Foreman at 219, Waldhelm at 187. The first two rounds, a disappointing performance by Foreman, but now he's beginning to unload. According to his, box, his Olympic coach, Pappy Galt, sitting next to me, Foreman has been tight, not loose. His corner man, manager Dick Sadler and Bobby Lewis, we're talking to him vigorously between the second and third rounds. In fact, too many may have been talking to him too much at the same time. Foreman using the right lead that he used so effectively against the Russian Chapulis in Mexico City. Foreman now sticking with that left. Looks much better this round, much better. I emphasize George only because he became a national and international figure in his Olympic boxing contests and because this is his professional debut. Waldhelm has had 11 fights, 5 victories, 4 defeats, 2 draws. is belaboring him. He's got Waldhelm in trouble, and Waldhelm goes down, and he is a tired and beaten young man. The superior strength and weight of Foreman beginning to tell as a succession of rights following a left did it, and he is knocked out. George Foreman wins his first professional fight. One minute, 54 seconds. Well, George, it, uh, you didn't start fast, but it had repercussions of Mexico City the way it finished, didn't it? Well, this guy was too awkward and, and running away too much. It makes the man look bad. But like I, I told him, I wanted to start with the one that would give me a fight. He did that much. He made me, I didn't look as good as I am, but it was running. No Yo, Dick Sadler is saying off microphone, he didn't have no bum to beat, referring to the defeated opponent, Waldhelm. Your Olympic boxing coach, Pappy Gold, said you looked a little tight, a little tense in the beginning, weren't sticking and jabbing like you can. Like I said, th this guy was wild. I mean, this guy was, you know, something about him. He made me, you know, lose tight. But uh, nothing to it. A child can do it. A good beginning for you. I'm concentrating on a hard punch. This guy was a runner. And my man told him, just slow him down. I ain't got to worry about knocking him out. I can knock anybody out. Look at that punch to the body, that to the head. See that look? Man, I'm tough. That boy better quit. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Look at me. I'm finna do some more. Down he went and that finished him. Huh? Man, I'm tough. I'm quick. Look at that punch. Look. Are you trying to emulate any of your predecessors? Uh-uh. Take a I'm, look I'm, at yourself in slow motion. Look at that, man. That's what you call learning. That boy's in the stage becoming a champion. Look, come back. Oh, well. But it's power. Are you too cocky too soon, too young? Yeah. You are? Yeah. What was it you said in Mexico City? You'll be the heavyweight champion of the world That's if the right. good Lord look, is willing. Look at, look at me coming out of there. <laughs> if the good Lord is willing and the creek don't rise. George, congratulations right, to you. Good start. Yeah. See you soon. All Next right. fight. 